everybody, these are our Song School <laughs> Scholarship winners. We have Bonnie Sims, Sarah Exner, and Allie Chipkin. So we're so stoked as a Soundbridge to be able to offer these scholarships to Planet Bluegrass Song School and also Folks Fest. So we just want to learn a little bit about you guys um, and what it's what you're excited about the scholarship. So to start off, I'll just ask you to share a little bit about you, your history with music, um, where you come from, and, and what your music is like or what you hope to create. Hey, Bonnie, do you want to start? Sure. I am Bonnie Sims, and I grew up in Texas uh, playing music. My dad's a career musician, and um, so started at a young age, started singing and playing guitar and mandolin, and then went to music college in West Texas and met Taylor Sims, and he was my connection to Colorado. He was actually born in Colorado Springs, he's a native, but he grew up in Texas and had a bluegrass band in Lyons at the time, and so I followed him up here, and um, we... I actually started working at Starbucks and then um, didn't have a band for a little bit and then was like, what am I doing? And so I just started buying the Clydes with some friends and we played a gig, um, a pickup show actually for a wedding. We were like, let's be a band. It was just three of us. So we started that and um, from there it just kind of spiraled. I definitely took the reins and put my name on it and um, started writing songs. And writing was a totally new adventure for me. I, even though I would sang my whole life, played music, I hadn't really thought about writing songs and, and approaching it like that. And so started trying to figure out what I wanted to say and um, yeah, do that. And Taylor is a songwriter as well, so we get to do that together. And um, this will be my third year at song school. I'm really, wow. really pumped. Cool. So, and my first time ever to go to Folks Fest, so. Very exciting. Yeah. Thanks. Sarah, do you want to share a little bit? Sure, um, I'm Sarah Exner, and I'm from Longmont, Colorado. This is my hometown. Uh, I came back here a couple of years ago after going to college in Oregon and traveling for a few years, kind of all over the world. Um, and I'm fairly new to music. Growing up, I wasn't even in the school choir. I actually played trombone and marching <laughs> band and jazz band. Cool. Um, I didn't know that I loved to sing until the last few years, really. Um, I actually lost my brother about five years ago, and he was an amazing guitar player. Mm -hmm. And after he passed, I picked up the guitar and I just couldn't stop. It was a way of processing, and it was a way of keeping his memory, his music alive for me. Mm -hmm. And I started writing songs, I'm kind of nervous to share them. Mm -hmm. I just started playing in open mics mm. and going to song school feels like something magical is happening for me and I'm so grateful for this opportunity. Cool. Uh, thanks for sharing. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, hi, I'm Allie Chipkin and um, I'm from Poughkeepsie, New York, so a little bit upstate from the city. Um, my musical journey definitely started with singing. I was, um, I took piano lessons for like, maybe like five or six years growing up just because, you know, all my siblings were doing it as well. My parents wanted me to, but, um, but yeah, I remember thinking it was really cool that I could like take my instrument in the shower as a singer and I could like take it anywhere, you know? Um, I didn't have to like sit down to practice. I could just like, any time of day that I felt like doing it, I could, um, and yeah, I, I played a little bit of clarinet um, in middle school and high school, and then I decided to go to school for theater. Um, so I spent a couple of years um, pursuing that. And similar to Bonnie, actually, I, I, I was at a conservatory for theater for a while, and then I um, never picked up a guitar, never um, thought that I could write my own music. Mm. And I transferred to a liberal arts school um, to get out of theater, and it was so funny because they were like, you know, I always say like everybody at that school like picked up a guitar and they played a C and a G, and they were like, yeah, I'm a guitarist. And I'm like, are you singing? <laughs> I'm a guitarist. Then. I can totally do that. So um, yeah, I just uh, that kind of gave me the confidence to start writing, and I took some poetry classes towards the end of college and. Um, and then moved out to Colorado like two years ago and have mm -hmm. been, um, <clears throat> yeah, just really empowered by the scene and support for, for people out here, for musicians, so. Cool. Yeah. Thanks. 
So now we're getting to song school. And, you know, actually, Bonnie, you could start um, because you've actually been to it a few sure. times. Sure, yeah. Um, how would you describe like, what it's like um, and like in a nutshell? Well, I, it's an amazing experience. I, yeah, have wanted to go back, obviously. I applied for the scholarship after already having gone. I see the value in it. It's, um, it's a really special thing. I mean, it's literally they've created a little paradise, and it's only four days because it could probably only be four days. Because I said that to somebody, one of the people who goes a lot, and they were like, because I was like, this is so magical. Everybody loves each other. Mm. And they were like, yeah, but it's only four days long. <laughs> and I was like, okay, okay. But literally, it is very supportive. Everyone gets to be creative. I feel like there's also like two sides of it. If you want to like learn how to write songs in a technical sense, like learn how to produce songs and like what songs sell and the structure and different, you know, chord voicings and all those kind of like, kind of like technical aspects of songwriting. There's all of that available, which I, those were really interesting and I liked a lot of those workshops. And then there's also the heart side of singing and the heart side of creating, which is so real and so tangible. And they actually talk about it like it's real. And that to me is, it's, it's life changing. You know, it's changed the way that I teach my students. It's changed the way that I just feel about performing too. It's like, that's what I love about, you know, I, like, I love musical theater too. Like you were talking about theater. And the one hard thing about theater is there's lots of shows, but sometimes there's just one part, you know, and there's that element. And I love that in music, it's like, we can all do it at the same time. And they have a lot of those things at song school where they have group sings, you know, it starts that way and ends that way. Mm -hmm. One year we've gotten the river, you know, people like splashing around. I had a blast. I camped for the first time last year. <laughs> you know, um, that was a really good experience. And just really getting to immerse yourself in the craft for four days straight is not, is I'm always, I feel like a lot of times I'm on the other side of it, I'm performing, I'm having to drain my well consistently. Mm -hmm. I'm pulling water out of that well all the time. And like, mm -hmm. so now I get to go and I get to fill it up with all these other people. And it, yeah, I'm, it's something that I want to keep doing. So this mm -hmm. year, you guys are affording it to me, and that's really special. I'm like, thank you so much. It's awesome. Yeah. So. Cool. Well, hearing a little bit about her experience, what are you guys most excited about jumping in? Mm. Yeah, I've heard about. Well, I I had never heard of song school until earlier this year, and then I met some people who have been going for many years, and they just told me how amazing it was, and that I had to go. <laughs> yeah. So it's been on my radar for some months now, and I just, I am think I'm the most excited just to connect with so many mm -hmm. different musicians and, yeah, the people that I'm going to meet and the doors that might open. Yeah. Nice. Um, yeah, I'm really excited, um, yeah, just to have that, like, dedicated sacred space to, to writing and, like, being inspired by other um, songwriters and musicians and and nature, um, you know, just so beautiful, so beautiful being up there by the river. Um, I haven't been to song school, but I've been up. Uh, it's near the Wildflower Pavilion. Yeah, it's like you yeah. know, you like start the Wildflower Pavilion with like the yeah. orientation stuff. That's so cool. Yeah, I I've seen shows up there, and that's it. Just feels like such a special sacred space mm -hmm. to begin with. Mm -hmm. um, but. Yeah, you know, similar to what Bonnie was saying as well, it's like you're, you're constantly running around and, um, in your everyday life and, you know, there are always responsibilities and, like, I, I feel like it's, sometimes it's like, when do I fit in the time and, like, sit mm. down and, you know, give attention to my music and it's mm. super special to be able to, you know, have a full week um, every day just dedicated to like listening to what comes to you and, and looking inside for inspiration. Mm -hmm. uh, how can you see this impacting your music? How can you see, like, where do you see your music going, at, you know, after song school? Or any things like, uh, I guess you could call it, um, intentions with what you, how you want to grow that way. Mm -hmm. I hope I actually write a song at song school this time. Like, I feel like I was always like, a lot of the times I'm looking at stuff because a lot of the workshops are like, you get to workshop stuff that you wrote, so I want to do a song that I feel good about and get like good advice on it, mm -hmm. you know, like that will matter, not like throw something at them that it's just like barely a song yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, I want to write on, that would be my goal, like a tangible goal.
but also it's like it's just like emotionally like I'm just like the whole time it's it is kind of it's overwhelming in one sense mm -hmm. but it's also really inspiring so I feel like I'm doing something else I feel like I'm like plugged in recharging like <laughs> literally I really it feels yeah, like that right and then so it's like maybe writing a song isn't the most important thing at song school mm -hmm. you know but that would be cool yeah. so you'd be like that's the song school song yeah. right. so I feel like so I I've, I've attended a um sort of music retreat on the East Coast called Miles of Music before and it's very similar it's not specific to songwriting but um similarly special and recharging but mm -hmm. same thing where it's just you're surrounded by so many musicians so many people with good similar songs. intentions yeah. yeah and like and listening exactly yes yeah. so there's so much to listen to and you're so excited just to be like interacting with these people that um, that yeah sometimes you forget to like take a moment to yourself which you really need for like a song to come yeah. and oh totally I gotta be alone for sure yeah, yeah. so that was like for that's sure. been a big thing for me is like I, yeah, I need to like remember to carve out a little bit of time for myself just to like sit and listen and to me rather than mm -hmm. listening to, to all the incoming mm -hmm. information. That's a good idea for song school. Yeah. I'm gonna write that one down. Yeah. Like, really, no, I'm serious. That's a good idea. Yeah. I feel like I just need, a lot of people I feel like do that. You see them by the river, like, mm -hmm. and you can tell the vibe. Like, you don't right. just, I mean, yeah. it's a nice vibe of like yeah. people taking time for themselves too, exactly. for sure. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that mm -hmm. for sure. I think for me, the opportunity as a new artist just to start sharing more of myself and my mm -hmm. music and just lose, forget those inhibitions and fears mm -hmm. and to be around a community of people with that same intention. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be pretty cool. <laughs> I'm so excited that you're starting where you are right now though too because like, I feel like some of the songs that are most special to me are songs that I wrote before I like knew how to write a song. Mm -hmm. So it's like a really yes. <laughs> special place to be, um, you know, where you're in this context where you, you know, you can take in so much, but like you have something really, yeah, awesome to start with. And, yeah. That was something really uh, central to, to Soundbridge, uh, is central to Soundbridge in terms of how we want to support our, our artists, which is a full spectrum of who we include and support from the first time artist who's just starting mm -hmm. to someone who's a lot more experienced than a touring musician. Mm -hmm. um, so we're really trying to see all of that in Soundbridge and, mm -hmm. and you two are the perfect example of that diversity that we're trying to, you know, support. And I think Song School has that like running <coughs> thread. I don't know if, like, I feel like they have, it's people there who are, like you said, like touring musicians who are going there to hone their craft. And then people who, like there were folks who were like, I've never written a song before. I wrote a song today. Mm. You know, like had never written a song. So I love that. And that's another thing that I love about music is like space for everyone. There mm -hmm. really is space for all levels. Like it's not all the voice and like turning her chair around and like, mm -hmm. yeah. you're good or you're not good. Like, yeah. right. fuck that model. Yeah. It's over. Yeah. That shit is dead. <laughs> and I love that. Like yeah. I'm so, I yeah. love the like, It feels like a new yeah. way to look at it from, <laughs> you know, totally from what I grew up with at least from like feeling like, mm competitive or anything mm -hmm. like that. Like I love like, that is like a good thing to let go because it's heavy. Yeah. yeah. And there's so much like that I think we can all, like I'm sure you feel like, oh, I'm excited to learn from other songwriters, but like there's so much we can learn from, you know, from people who are just starting out as well. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, so it's, it's a really good like energetic trade for sure. Yeah. Cool, thanks guys. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Thank you.